hi guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica and it is so hot right now like whew. i like just turned the air conditioning off and i'm like already sweating so excuse if you see any sweat <laughs> So today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Moods Instagram page and I decide if I think I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if I think they're all total washouts. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like the series every Wednesday and if you're not already and you would like to, I hope you subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is like a new mini kit from Pat McGrath. I don't know if I want to get this. I'm really torn because I've heard so much about Pat McGrath and it's kind of like Natasha Denona on steroids a bit. I think they're kind of the same like price range. But I've heard so many good things and I've also heard so many like not bad things but like it's not worth the price. And I really think minis are a good place to start so I'm not sure if I want to try these mini lipsticks because I know the eyeshadow palettes honestly none of the color stories have really called to me enough to want to jump out and try the brand but I've not tried anything from Pat McGrath yet so I might pick up this lipstick set I don't know yet but I do like the idea of coming out with minis like this it's just the colors are very like red neutral so mm, I mean it's $25 it's a good price for some minis and you know if you know me you know I love some mini lipsticks I should do a video all about my mini lipstick collection that would be cute. If you want to see that, let me know down below. I think that'd be a lot of fun to do. Just my mini lipsticks. Okay, so this one I know I'm going to skip just because I had such a blah experience with one of their other elixirs. This is the new Farsali elixir. We don't know what it's going to be, but they said it has a milk texture, which is that ever like a good thing? Like when I heard milk texture, I was like, ugh. Like, do people hear milk texture and be like, let me rub that on my face? Like, is it. So I'm, I, I'm gonna skip this one just because of my experience with their rose gold elixir in the past. So NARS already has stuff out for pre-order for the holidays. I guess it's only through Barney's. But does any of this not look boring? I mean, the packaging is kind of cool, kind of, but just look at that palette. I'm a huge fan of like a dark lipstick, but it's just, a dark lipstick and it's $34 and the highlighter palette is $42 and not a I think it's a little too early for holiday releases I like to see those late October November and then do like a Black Friday sale and then jump into your holiday season I think this is a bit too early for that especially if it's already a pre-order and then on top of that it's boring nothing about this says holidays nothing about this says anything not even fall like it's a bland highlighter palette and a black lipstick it's gonna be a pass so we saw the inside of that new Pat McGrath palette that I was just like gushing over the packaging of last time and it eh. I mean between like my blood sugar palette and a couple of the neutrals palettes I have this color story and I like I want something unique. I want something that I can only get from a Pat McGrath palette. So if you have any suggestions for like a really, really unique Pat McGrath palette, let me know down below. But I, so far, it's not really impressing me. Okay, so I know everyone was like super excited for this new Trixie Mattel and Sugar Pill collaboration. But I finally saw the palette. I mean, I've been wanting to try Sugar Pill. So this is something that I would have been interested in honestly if the blush was more peach but that then, then again this is a, like it looks like Trixie Mattel in a palette so I can see where the collaboration like came from and how it came to be but it's it's not for me and I think it's a really cute like release for them and I think it's a really cute collaboration with Trixie Mattel but it's just not anything special I mean uh I'm sure a lot of Electrics and Mattel's fans are going to be interested in this. I'm sure a lot of Sugar Pill fans are going to be interested in it. It's just, it hasn't, Sugar Pill has just not crossed roads with my, like, super interests yet. So I'm just, I'm waiting for that. And then I want to jump on and try the brand. 
So this was something else that really confused me. These are two new palettes from The Balm, and I think they look adorable. The packaging is great. I love the way the shades are arranged on the inside. They swatch really nice, but the color story is, again, really, really boring. Like, this, the warm palette, like, it's, like, everything swatches beautifully, and it looks really cute, but you're torn between, like, a really pinky color story or a really warm neutral color story and I think if you're looking for an all-in-one palette that would be really cool because I've tried their bronzer and I really like it and I try one of their face powders and I really like it so I think having them like having a full face and a palette is a really good idea if you're looking for an all-in-one neutral face palette this might work for you but for me who, who already has a fairly sizable collection it's nothing new and it's nothing that I'm gonna go out of my way to try I thought about doing a lightning round but you know what let's actually get into this so my honest opinion is that this brush whatever release a i think it's just like her last brush set which i did buy i think it's her last brush set but with different handles i i don't think they went out and made all new brushes for this i don't think they spend years making it i think it was a repackaging of regular morphe brushes and into a new kit for her that they were going to release in the holidays i honest to god think this was supposed to be a holiday release but because of the shitstorm that was the vault release they pushed it up like why else would they release it when the hype was already up at right after the release of the vault and with the packaging, with all of the, you know, advertising, it looks very holiday. It looks like it was supposed to be a holiday release that they pushed up because they're trying to get more out of the vault because the vault was just kind of a PR disaster. Not even mentioning, like, the tweets that Jacqueline's been sending out about the vault because... Uh, I don't even know if I want to get into that because she doesn't seem to take well-intentioned criticism that well if you've got a lot of bad reviews on a palette from youtube from instagram from a lot of different people not everyone's out to get you maybe it's just not a great product but it was really 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 super sketch that not only did they like cancel the first release push it back repress everything and destroy all the old palettes just to come out with this new repressed formula only to have Jacqueline now come on Twitter and be all like so where did you buy your bad palettes from I want to investigate this I, blah 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 so something does not seem right there nothing about this really seems right and it just seems like an ongoing issue with not only Morphe but with whatever collaboration Jacqueline comes out with and I'm saying this as someone who's, I, I'm a huge fan of her work. I'm a huge fan of her tutorials. She has some of the best tutorials on YouTube when she actually posts. It just seems like over the past like year, two years, it's been nothing but Morphe shilling. She barely posts on YouTube anymore and it's only to post about her new whatever with Morphe. It's, it's really, it's really making her lose credibility with not only her fans but with like her own personal brand because because everything just seems to be such a shitstorm. <laughs> honestly at the end of the day their makeup brushes their makeup palettes their makeup but nothing about the situation is really sitting well with the beauty community and i just think nothing is really being handled well personally i'm just not going to get anything from this collaboration i'm not going to get the brush set i'm not going to get the vault <sighs> like at this point it's keeping me from like recommending the original jacqueline hill palette which was a great palette that i still love but it's keeping me from recommending that because i don't feel comfortable do you guys remember when like this last rose highlighter came out i remember watching youtube it was a while ago and I was so just enamored by that highlighter. It got like really bad reviews overall for a highlighter. There wasn't a whole lot of product in it. It didn't really look that great, but it was all for the packaging. And I remember thinking, oh, I want that highlighter. I want it on my vanity. I want to be able to have it on display. And now that I see that they're coming out with another one and it's like a rose goldy kind of one, I'm not interested. I know it's just gimmicky packaging and that it's a little bit of product and that it's just a highlighter. 
So I'm actually pretty proud of myself that I can look into that and be like, okay, I don't need it because it's just gimmicky packaging. So I'm gonna be skipping on that. Jeffree Star teased some of his new holiday collection, which are going to be eight new liquid lipsticks. Of course, I'm gonna wait and see what the actual shades are before I make any decisions, but the two names that he teased are kind of hilarious. Can't relate, which has been like his catchphrase for the past few months. And then you're still on the property. <laughs> I think that's really cute. But again, I want to see what the shades actually are before I make my decision. So that's where we're going to leave it for this week's weekly wishlist or a washout. Quite a few products this week. Let me know down below what you guys thought, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!